See here. Then second step, what do you have to do? After sign in, what is coming? Enter the email. See, if I'm selecting here, I'm just sending the email. So let's do it here. Enter email. I just change here. And here the email. Right? Enter the in. Then get enter the email. Same one you have to copy and paste it here. Another one is done. So you have to change here again. So expert you have to change. So that uh, right now I have uh, this time I'm using the ID. First one I create the expert. Right now I have to use the ID. Why? Because there is an ID. So if you see the ID, that means uniquely identify you only single one. So you have, if you see the ID, you don't need to create a ID. Okay? This is your second ID. Everybody understand that? Yes. Okay. Third element again. See, everything is copy paste. Again. So enter the password. Here you have to change password. Same thing, change here and enter the password. Third one is ready. Let's see what is the element. If I see the ID, I have to take the ID. Yes, the ID is there, so I take the ID. Done? Isn't this the same thing as the page factory though? Yeah, this is a page factory. Oh my god. That's why I'm asking if this is a page factory. Again, okay. we have to put all the elements here. Okay. Okay, this is a page factory. So what I, I'm giving explanation like last 30 minutes or 40 minutes is now say this is a page factory. Wow. Come on, man. So we create how many elements is here? Page one is a sign in button. One is enter the email, one is a enter the password, then another button is submit, sign in, right? Again, this is a sign in button. You see here, submit. submit. So we can so copy, 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 paste it. Proceed. Copy, paste it. So this is a and, uh, submit. Submit ETM. Submit button. Okay. Control C, Control V, and get submit button. See, I have to bring the your ID. If you see the ID, get sign in submit. Sign in submit. Then what else? After signing, we have to verify the our page title, home page title, okay? So what do we have to do here? Okay. So do you guys have any question about this thing? No. Anybody? No. Mithun Chaudhary? No, I don't buy. No, I don't buy. Let me see. Okay. Tisha? No. What do you call it? Rifat? No. Habib? I'm good, bye. Everybody good? Till now? Yes. Can you explain the modu? No, the Chaudhary, again, where you, you write the your, uh, Java Ops concept? In your framework, where you use the, your uh, Java Ops concept? Well, my page factory. First of all, you have to uh, give them example in page factory. Yep. Okay? So yep. how you use the page factory in page factory? In a page factory, we create object. I mean, uh, sorry, we create a constructor. Okay. 
and uh, we'll put all the web elements over there. Okay. And then uh, uh, create another file, login page, and extend the superclass from uh, extend the superclass. I mean, inherit the superclass to login page. Okay. Very good. Why you need to extend here? Because uh, you know the initialization or the driver, we do not need to. Uh, I mean, uh, write it here. So you okay. just uh, inherit it from superclass. So this is inherit. How to inherit the class one class to another class? We have to use the inherit. Second is we create the constructor because we have to invoke our element by implicitly. That's why we create the constructor. Inside the case, uh, constructor, uh, create the page factory. What is the Selenium keyword? Then dot is the init element method is there. Uh, I have to pass the driver and call the this keyword. Okay. Then it is uh, my page factory invoke whole class with by this login page. Okay. After that, uh, we create the uh, at the rate find by annotation. I uh, put the my element by x class, by id, by uh, inside the uh, parentheses you have to create the element like x plus id links is based on my requirement. Also I am using the at the rate cache looker because uh, my company have like more than 3000 test cases so that's why I have to use my computer, my lab, uh, local machine cache memory that's why I am using the at the rate cache lookup. Third is uh, there is a encapsulation concept also my element should be uh, wrapping my element, that's why I'm using the private keyword, private access modifier. Okay, then my code is um, encapsulation. I'm using the encapsulation concept also inside the page factory. So everything should be there. Okay, this one line, uh, two, three line code, and a thousand line code is the same. You see here, this is I'm just copy pasting, but this one line, every line has some meaning. Okay, every line has some meaning. Happy by do you get it, right? Yes, I got it. Uh, this four line, five line, you every line you have meaning. Other line doesn't matter. Everything is a copy paste. Just based on your requirement, you change the name. If you th if you think like you have a thousand uh, elements, same thing. Refer. Yeah. Any question so far? No, I don't hold it back if I have any question. I just ask. Right? No, I'm saying if I have any question, I don't hold it back. I just ask you. Thank you. So this is I. I need to know you guys understand this four five line or not. This so we are we are not uh, using the pom uh, pom concept. We are using the piece factory concept because pom only can um, capture only five hundred test cases, no more than that. Not um, not mandatory is five hundred. So less than 500 test cases, there is a like buy method I have to use, but our company is a big company. There is a uh, more than three, 4,000 test cases. That's why we use a Selenium page factory concept, concept using find the rate find by annotation. Okay. This okay. way, if they ask you, they ask you the, how you uh, store the your element or what is your object repository. They ask you different way. Okay. What is the object repository? What is the, uh, where you have to put all, all the element or you do the, your hard coding inside the class, like test pages. So you have to keep the definition like this, or whatever you're doing here. Okay. So master page factory will be our web element repository, right? Yes. 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 This so is your the master page factory, it's a, I mean, a mandatory name or we can give no, it? No, 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 no. I said everything is a, like meaningful. This is a, my intention is a login page. You see, that's why I'm giving this in meaningful name. Before I'm giving the master page factory means it is a Selenium concept. That's why I'm giving this name. But usually we are using like this way. This is if it is a login page, I have to give the class name is login page. Page should be there. This is a page. You can change here, login, anything, but pages should be there. Page means Selenium page factory concept. Test means you do the test here. You see, here is a test. Okay? Yeah. Hello? Understand? Any questions so far? Understand that thing. See, login page and login test. Both are same. Can you explain this keyword? Okay. Agar, done. Okay. So 
So if I am not giving here this, this class not invoke. How to I am configure this class invoke in, inside the constructor? If you use the constructor, this class reference this variable, uh, this init element class. Example, if you do uh, like this way, another way I can do show you. Web element uh, here. Sorry. I'm creating another class. Just a second. Uh, web driver. 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 Here. Then I am creating one method here. Uh, public. This answer for uh, uh, what is it called? Agar. Agar. Public. UI devoid. Uh, get method. Get method. Get method. Passing the this. One. I don't have to write down this. One, sorry. Please, guys, make your mute laptop. Okay. Then I have to tell them the uh, this driver equal to this driver. You see, I tell them this reference variable and this reference this I mentioned this and one object equal to another object. So you have to mention this keyword. Without this keyword, you cannot bench, uh, confirm this driver and this driver is the same. You see, this color is different and this color is different. This is a, a local variable. Inside the parameter, this is a local variable. This is an instance variable. So you have to mention them, this driver and this driver equal. So how to do that? Why? This driver. So this is called, uh, you have to mention one, on a, one object to equal to another object. By this keyword. Did you get it? I just I am giving the explanation this one. I don't want to, this one for you. I am creating for you. So same thing. This driver equal to other driver I mentioned. Okay. This is I am creating for you. I don't need this one. Okay. I just mentioned you. Why are you? Uh, what is the this keyword? This keyword mentioned this driver equal to this driver. So I have to mention the both are same. How to do that by this keyword. So you have to explain in your interviewer, uh, one object equal to another object mentioned by this keyword, okay? This is a keyword, is, uh, you have to use it. Um, I mean, of course, we paste specifically dot init elements, uh, yeah. uh, init and element driver dot uh, comma this. this driver, again, this driver equal to other drivers, both are same, that's why I mentioned here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. This is a thing. Our page factory is done here. Okay. Let's go to the test spaces. So, in uh, first of all, I have to. I need initialize method call here, right? First of all, we need the initialize method call here. So, I'm creating the one method. Public void setup method. Set up. Okay, I'm creating one method called setup. Then, and I have to extend my base class. You know that, right? I have to inherit my class here. Main intention is my super class should be connected with this class. Okay. Extend. Just a second. Huh? I have to return the one text. Okay. 
So input the super class, you see, coming to the base class. This is connected. The second thing, what I have to do here, call the initialize method. No. You know that, right? No. This is a method I have to call. So how to call the static method? Anybody? Hmm? By class name? By class name. Okay. Just put the method name to parenthesis, that's it. Semicolon. Okay. So by class name you can call also, okay? You can call by class name also. So it is a static method, you can call by class name. Okay? See, it is okay. No differentiated. You can call the by class name or you can directly call the initialize method. This is done here. So I have to get with the login page, right? So uh, which one, this one run, which method, which annotation do you need to write here? Uh, Mohit Chaudhary. Before method, oh, sorry. Yes, before method, we have to call the our initialize, free, free request, okay? This is the default method, method is an entity coming from the test engine annotation. So my initialize method is here. My browser is automatically API. So right now I have to connect which one? Login page. Shahin. Shahin by Gise. Line by line, yeah. Page factory dot init element. You see, I need this one below one. First table inside the uh, what is the call? Page factory. We need locator factory. Okay. This class we need web driver object page. I have I need this one. You see, driver is automatically appear here. Then this class name login page dot class this will your connectivity is done but this element i have to give the as a reference variable is here equal to this page okay so you can connect this way this is a uh, people doing actually we have more easy way i'm not doing this i don't like this way, okay i like this way lp equal neo Sorry. Neo, what is my class name? This one. So you can do this way or you can do this way. Which one is a good or which one is easy? Hello. You can do both way, okay? So if you, I think you, the you second one. this way, you connect this way, both are same. So which one you feel good, you can do connected like this way. The second step, this is the before method. Right now, my intention is my test cases. So I have to create the one another method. B L I C public B O I B void login uh, method name is uh, get login get login. Okay, I'm creating here validation. Sorry, login validation. So which annotation we need here? At test. At the rate test. T-E-S test. So input from testing. So right now you can call LP here. Just a second. LP dot get signing button. Dot click. 
example i'm changing right now this one okay then lp dot get enter email What do we have to do here? Send keys. Email, email address, right? Then what do you have to do here? I have to pass inside the, uh, this one, right? Dot send key. So this is a question. You have to pass your config properties here. Again, LP dot get login button uh, password dot uh, and again lp dot uh, submit get a submit dot click right this is your done here if test cases Okay, so how to send here your username, password? Anybody? Yeah. From the how properties to... list, so you have to um, configure the properties class Correct. into this. E R O P prop dot uh, properties. Set property. Or get property. Come on. Get property. Dot get property. Okay. String key. Okay. So you have to pass here your username. You then double quote. Oh, sorry. Same thing, awesome. have to hear, passing the your username password, where is your config file. going to be after method yes so that call uh, I have to create the another method public POI deployed tear down let's call tear down method okay oh, sorry this method name is called tear down then which annotation in it after method So done here. Let's see around it. Everybody got it? So where you have to use the before method, where you have to use the where you have to use the at the rate cap. This is a simple. I'm doing the critical later on. First on the go to the free request. That's why the before method is going here. At the rate cap.